It's book haul time! The beginning of this year, I was down at the residency for my MFA program, which is through Carlo University. Every year for two weeks in the beginning of January, authors from all over the place come, talk to the students about craft and just different elements of their writing. They also bring their books. And of course, every year I end up buying a whole bunch because the author's there, they talk about the book, the book sounds really good, you really like the speaker, and they sign it. So, yeah. I have been on kind of a book buying freeze lately because I have like hundreds and hundreds of books that I own that I haven't actually read yet, so I've been trying really hard not to buy more books. It just doesn't always work. This time I did pretty good. I only got five books. Here they are. The first one is The Ambivalent Memoirist by Sandra Hurdles. Sandra is a memoirist. She talked to us all about finding truth when writing your memoir and how to get around sticky situations like writing about your parents. Signed and everything. The Patron Saint of Dreams by Philip Gerard. This one's also nonfiction. It is a collection of essays. I signed it twice. This one is the first fiction book. It has a really long title. In the House Upon the Dirt Between the Lake and the Woods. It's by Matt Bell. I think this one, if I remember correctly, there were a lot of speakers. I think it's like magical realism, kind of like like part mystery, part thriller, but like in a magical realism, like fabulist kind of way. It sounded really cool when he was talking about it. It has to do with a couple trying to conceive in a crazy world. And somewhere along the lines, there's some beasts involved. I forget. I'll let you know after I read it. The next one is a collection of poetry. It's called Hysteria, a collection of madness. This one is by Stephanie Vitovich. Hope I said that right. I know Stephanie. She is the assistant to the director of the MFA program. I don't know her official title, I'm sorry, but she's awesome. She does amazing, like, bad mini type scheduling stuff, and she happens to be a poet who writes really, really creepy poems. So I'm really excited about this one. I kind of picked it up and browsed through and read like half of one and was so creeped out that I just had to buy it. It is. And the last one is Kin by Keelan Patrick Burke. Keelan was super fun. He actually is a friend of Stephanie's. He is also a horror writer. This one is a novel. I've read a lot of horror thriller type books all throughout my childhood, starting with like Goosebumps and Fear Street when I was a kid. So I still have a pretty big love of horror. So I'm looking forward to this one. Keelan also does a lot of like self-publishing and he talked about some marketing strategies. He has a design company where he makes his own covers. He's a pretty cool guy, so check him out. And this one, of course, is signed too. So that's it. Those are my five books that I got this year at the MFA residency. Bye.